We humans really like to be impressed, don't we? We seem to love it when we're in the presence of a politician who can whip a room into a frenzy, or a musician who can mesmerize an entire stadium, or perhaps a sports figure who can thrill us beyond our wildest dreams. But we tend to take it a step further. I think at least subconsciously we convince ourselves that these people, these events, these are what we really need. This is what's going to save the world and bring us peace and joy and satisfaction. Only it never works, does it? Ultimately, as wonderful and as admirable as all these people and things may be, they, in the end, disappoint us. And this is nothing new. This is exactly what St. Paul was writing about in the first letter to the Corinthians. Jews demand signs, Greeks demand wisdom, he said. In the ancient Near East, people also wanted to be impressed. The Jews wanted to see miraculous displays of power, healing and exorcisms and things like that. And Greeks wanted to see incredible displays of wisdom, words that sounded so smart that people would spend hours and days just basking in them. But Paul says, none of that's where it really is. Where it is in, in something that by all appearances is incredibly unimpressive. It's weak. It's foolish. It's Christ crucified. It's this strange itinerant rabbi whose life and ministry were so abruptly and unglamorously ended by imperial Rome. Well, his caution to the ancient Near East is the same caution he gives us today. Be careful with what you get so impressed by. Make sure it doesn't fool you into thinking that this is what's really going to save the world. This is what's really going to bring you your heart's desire. What's really going to bring us our heart's desire is the same thing that Paul was talking about 2,000 years ago. Christ crucified and risen. This simple, unglamorous, unimpressive story. That's where our focus really needs to lie. Perfectly okay to enjoy and admire other things. But let's make sure we're very clear on what we need to be truly impressed by.